And today we are opening up the 2020 gold sarcophagus tins. Now, you may recognize these tins. They do look pretty similar to the 2020 tins. The only difference really is um, this on, on here. These are uh, picture things. Um, other than that, they are almost the exact exact same. Um, so yeah, uh, if you're new to the channel, uh, the first ever opening was the 2019 tins. Um, and so yeah, here we are with the 2020 tins. Now, I haven't had a look at what is in these tins yet. I have zero clue what cards, if there's a promo pack like the 2019 tins or, or if there's any mega packs like the 2020 tins. So let's just get into it. Alrighty, it looks like yeah, looks like there's no no promo sort of pack, just the um, just the three mega packs. So I assume there's 18 cards in here. Not quite sure uh, what cards will be in here or what the card trick is. Haven't seen anything like that. So I think we'll do four, five, six to the front. I think that's how we did it in the last couple of tins. We'll find out. All right, so we have. Uh, Infernoble Knight Magus, Hinzemi, uh, yeah, Dark Lord Uprising. Oh my goodness, these are real, oh, real hard and long names. Uh, AI Idol Reborn, Daruma Dropper, Witchcrafter Unveiling, Tie Strike, Witchcrafter Patron Patronus, um. Obsessive Uva Loop, and then our first sort of holographic uh, Ling Lingribo. So one of the uh, Karibo cards, obviously changed up a little bit. Ad Adamant Adamantipater Adamantipater Seeker as another holographic. And as our ultra rare, we have Divine Arsenal. Double A Zeus Sky Thunder. I'm about to sneeze. Um, and then another ultra rare. I think they're, they're supposed to be a secret rare. I think maybe, possibly. Uh, Tribe Brigade, uh, Brigade Shurag the Ominous Om Omen. Damn, what a mouthful. And then, yes, there is a secret rare. Awesome. Virtual World Mahim Lulu. Very cool. I love the secret rare cards. And then, yeah, so we have the uh, the rare uh, on the end here, sales pitch. So I think we'll do seven to the front. Um, we'll leave the secret rare on the end. All right, on to a new pack. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. On to the front. Close them all up. All righty. So, oh, that is a weird way to do... The secret rare. It looks like it's bled a whole bunch. Hold on, let me see if I can get on the camera. It looks like it's been bleeding into the card. Um, Infernoble Knight Emperor Charles. Uh, Cybers Accelerator. Raid Raptors Phantom Knight's Claw. Prifanese the Tactical Trapper. Adamantipater Crystal. Blizzard. Uh, Infinity, Infinity Doom Archfiend. Goki Guts, Deep Sea Artisan, that's a nice looking card. Uh, AIQ, well, lots of these AI cards. Uh, Torpedo Takedown, Arcjet Lightcraft, Resonator Command, Armory Cool as a regular holographic. Am I centered a little bit? There we go, that's probably better. Armory Cool, and then Magical Hound as our other holographic. And as our ultra rare, we have Gearsu. The Orcist Mech Knight. And then... Nadir Servant, or Servant, depending on how you want to pronounce it, as our other Ultra Rare. And then, as our Secret Rare, we have Dogmatica Punishment. Very interesting. So, so far, these tins are, in my opinion, not as good as... Definitely not as good as the 2019 tins. I mean... I mean, those tins were just amazing. 20, 20 tins were pretty good. They weren't amazing, but they were, they were pretty good. These ones are just so far so eh. Although, they just pulled a, a rare guy, the Fierce Knight or, or Origin, so maybe there's some cool guy cards. We don't know yet. 
Infernoble Knight Magus. Uh, that's the second time we've had him. Ooh, nice. Ruby Fur Hire, some nice furries. Uh, an Emancipator Crystal Dragite. Charge into the dark into du charge into a dark world. Add Emancipator Lapatite. Uh, Raiders Unbreakable Mind. Deep Sea Prima Donna. Prima Donna. <laughs> uh, disposable Learner Device. Infernoble Knight Ogier. Uh, A Idol Reborn. Rain Bozu. Arcjet Lightcraft. And then warning point as a rare. XYZ import as a rare. That's a really nice looking card, actually. Between the darkness and the light and the holographic, I really enjoy this card. Ooh, center it up a little bit there. And then as a ultra rare, we have Chaos Ruler, the Chaotic Magical Dragon. Chaos Ruler, I think, is usually a pretty expensive card. So maybe this is worth something. I don't know. Oh... Uh, an Emancipator Researcher as another ultra rare. Obviously, female based cards are more sought after and expensive than non female cards. Maybe this is worth something too. I don't know. And then on the end, can we get something good? Okay. Virtual World Roshi Lao Lao. So, not a secret rare I'm familiar with, but a secret rare nonetheless. So, yeah. I mean. I still enjoy how many holographics and cards you get and how big this set is. I mean, like, we open three packs and just look at this thick pile of cards. For the value the value you buy these tins for, you know, I don't know, $30, $40, and you get, uh, what is it, six, five holographics in each pack. You get your 15 holographics in a tin, a whole bunch of other cards. It's a great, you know, it, it, it's pretty good. Um, but this one is not as good as the other years, in my opinion, just from a brief one tin opening so yeah if you enjoyed this video please remember to like comment and subscribe and i'll catch you guys next time for maybe some more tins or pokemon stuff see ya